Hi everyone, I am Imdi Nazm Lassan. Today, I will demonstrate how you can measure the mutual coupling as parameters of a 4-port MIME antenna with a 2-port vector network analyzer. Let us understand the problem statement at first. This is the 4-port MIME antenna that we are going to use in this experiment. It is a 4-port system. However, if your vector network analyzer has only 2 ports, like this one, the question is how you can measure your 4-port antenna with this 2-port VNA. This is what we will learn in this experimental demonstration. For n equal to 4, we will have a scattering matrix that will contain 16 elements. So we can write down this matrix in this form. And the SIJ terms are basically the mutual coupling terms where I is not equal to J. So S11, S22, S33, and S44, all these four elements will indicate the reflection coefficients and all other terms will indicate the mutual coupling terms. All right? So this is what we are going to measure by this VNA. We basically designed and simulated this antenna in HFSS and this one is a single element having a partial ground plane so it will radiate like a dipole antenna and this one is the MIMO version of the same antenna and the elements are arranged in such a way so that the polarization of each element is different from the adjacent element so it enables polarization diversity gain. Last time, we practically demonstrated how you can measure the mutual coupling of two-port MIME antenna. And you can watch the video in our YouTube channel under the device and measurement playlist. You should watch that one first if you haven't watched it yet. Now let's see the list of equipment we need for this experiment. We definitely need a vector network analyzer. We also need the AVT or antenna on the test. And then we also need a pair of 50 ohm cohesion cables, a USB drive to save the measurement data from VNF for post processing. And finally, we also need a pair of 50 ohm broadband RF load terminations. The first step of measurement is the calibration process of your VNA. And uh, if you don't know how to, how to calibrate your VNA, then you must watch this video and it will explain everything. Anyway, so this is the fabricated version of the 4-port MIME antenna. And we're going to use Agilent E8364B VNA that supports up to 50 GHz of measurement. And uh, as you can see, the VNA has only two ports. And the antenna has four ports. So what we did, we connected two antennas with the two ports of the VNA, and then we terminated the other two ports with this 50 ohm load terminations. All right. So these are the basically 50 ohm RF load terminations. So in this way, you can sequentially measure all the 16 elements of this matrix of this four port MIME antenna and quantify the mutual coupling terms that are basically those SIJ terms where I is not equal to J. What you can see in the screen is basically the one of those SIJ terms that we just saw in the ACE matrix. Um, so depending upon the uh, port number that you connected to the VNA, it will give you that corresponding mutual coupling between those two ports. So let's wrap up the principle of measurement of a four-port MIME antenna with a two-port VNA. You need to basically connect two antennas um, to the two ports of the VNA and then terminate the other two antenna elements with uh, 50 ohm broadband load terminations. And you have to repeat this process for each of the ports and basically you have to um, uh, make this uh, an even combination so that you can cover all the elements inside this matrix. So for this configuration in the figure, we are basically measuring only a particular block of this is matrix. In this case, it is only uh, measuring this uh, little 2 by 2 matrix of this 16 element matrix. 
Uh, but if your VNA has uh, four ports, that is also fine. In that case, you can directly connect all four ports of the MIME antenna to the ports of the VNA and get the mutual coupling experimenters directly at the same time. This is also a valid measurement methodology. So depending on the number of ports available in your lab's VNA, you can use any of the method that we demonstrated in this video. If you still have questions, leave them below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching this video.